Oh, well, well, teep in the tongue, teep in the lip. I see the newsreaders doing it. Okay. Outwear license laws or anything like that out or whatever's gone on up here. But I'm telling you now that the 883s are so much more money than the 1200s and I can't explain it. What did you say to that? Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> so the Harley build off continues. In the last episode, we saw the old man complete a Harley project that he says is going to keep forever. But that normally means it will sell, but at the right price. As you may already know, Thomas, or we like to call him Moose for short, is my little brother, the second of the Parry brothers. He is now taller, stronger and smarter than me, but I know something that he doesn't. Moose has been working at the shop for over a year now and he's been a part of every project that has left the building. And he's even taken on his own full rebuilds like the 125 project. It's quite clear my little brother is learning fast and he's developing new skills every day and he has what it takes to build awesome motorcycles. I wonder if he's up for a new challenge. So Tom, when are you going to build a Harley? One day. Me and the old man we're hatching a plan. Are we going to get Tom to build the Harley and then give the Harley to him? Or should we just give him the whole of the rolling chassis so he can build his whole Harley Davidson for himself? Yeah, I think we should just get the rolling chassis built up and then give it to him. And say, do what you want with it. I would do that. Moose has been wanting to build a Harley for months. He shares the same obsession with Harleys as the old man. I think it's time to break the news to him. So, what's the plan? What's the, what colour? What? Who's it for? What am I doing to it? Okay, we've got we've got free reign on the design. We've got yeah. free reign on the colour. See Sweet. whether we're running whatever mud guards. Whatever, whatever, we've got free rate on it. Okay. Who's it for? It's for you, Tom. <laughs> With the old man donating a frame to the cause, Moose is well on his way to completing the Harley project. Finally, I get to do a Harley. But reality sets in, when we still have to raise the money to finish this thing. So we got to work raising money, the only way we know how, building motorcycles. Bike after bike. We were making oil tanks, exhaust systems, swing arm conversions, service work, suspension rebuilds, and we put all the money into a pot and we didn't spend a penny of it, apart from the odd lunch. What you got there, bro? Um, curry, no one bread. Nice. It is, it is more nice. <laughs> <laughs> We even found time for some alley welding lessons with John the welder. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Really appreciate your time.
Not only did we raise enough money to build this Harley Davidson, we also raised enough money to build a dream Ducati, which is going to be in the next episode. Something's arrived today. And Tom is very happy about what's arrived today. It's a 1200 Sportster Harley Davidson. And Tom may have just bought it for his next project. Now we have raised the money and bought all the parts we needed to finish this project, it's time for some late nights to finish all the fab work, like making the battery box. You made yourself a little battery box. Yeah, the battery sits in there and then the up and on ignition yeah. switch. Got the ignition and that on that side. Wheel spacers, building the front end. Fuel tank mounts, mud guards, the list goes on. Mud guard and the fenders installed, yeah. We've got to get this frame sent for powder coat. The fuel tank, oil tank and mud guards sent for paint. You just fart. And the engine needs stripping and all the covers need blasting and recoating. This Harley Davidson 1200 Sportster is going to be all black and chrome with a dark gunmetal grey paint job. Every day is a school day and we're always having fun. <laughs> Who needs fingers when you got a moustache like that? Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you look fucking awesome. <laughs> ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you're, only, you're only some hair shit away from joining me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just lift this. <laughs> <laughs> the wait for paint and powder coat begins. Luckily, there's some toys in the workshop to play with. What the hell is this? Someone wants an engine put in it, a proper engine. Drive it to Russia. Tom Ace. Don't feel me with my gammy eye. <laughs> Why? What's, what's, what's going on with your eye? I've got a star. <laughs> you got a star in your eye? A bit too tired. We can't take you seriously, mate, when your eye's it. like that. <laughs> mate, look at this dude's eye. Ain't that bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so bad on camera. It ain't that bad, is it? Yeah, get some sleep and stop picking your nose and then your eye. <laughs> So we're currently doing a, this Harley Davidson motor and this Ducati engine. Once we prep the engine for paint, 
and we sent the fuel tank, oil tank and mug guards, or as Harley Davidson would like to call them, fenders, off for paint. We had to get ready to go to a bike meet a few miles down the road. It's mad how they started really figuring out how to get horsepower at the engines with the expansion chambers and the power valves, but suspension and tires and brakes were still oh, yeah, not great. It really like, not, it was like, yeah, loads of power, 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 power. They went mad for the power. Yeah, and then it was like, why are they all high-sided and killing each other, do you know what I mean? Yeah. The old man and bike stop in Stevenage had organized the day out. And we brought a few of our own bikes down. Do you remember the TT racer? Midnight, the all black Harley Davidson and Ruby Red. Stuart even brought down his early 70s TR 750 Grand Prix bike. Oh, mama. Closing tonight at 5:30. I, really I, don't, don't. I don't think so either. But no. no I, so from the customer side of things, or from the, the the visitor side of things, it couldn't have been better. It has been brilliant and a nice steady flow and different bikes. Yeah, there's a some turnover of the bikes going have been on. Amazing. Yeah. yeah I've yeah. actually videoed some of them coming and going. Well, a Triton's just been and gone. Yeah, I saw that. We've had yeah. two RD 350s. So it's not just cafe races, but it's a bit of everything. It and really how is. It, how it should be. Exactly how it should be. But it's brilliant. Been brilliant. You enjoyed it, Sam? <laughs> well done. So we just got to keep, yeah, do another one and keep we it We will, we'll do loads more. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Once though. a week. No, thank you, Martin. Mutual Admiration Club. Yeah, guys. thank you very Cheers, much. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers dude. There were so many cool bikes that showed up. Thank you for everyone for popping by. It's been, it's been fairly straightforward, isn't it? No real big drums. It's a Harley. <laughs> so the Moose project continues. It's Posh. Posh is here, everybody. The hardtail frame that the old man had made and donated to Moose has been powder coated. We got powder coats, huh? huh? We got Sweet. powder coats. Sweet. You guys busy now. <laughs> well, the plan from the start with the Harley was to keep it simple. So what's going on over here, mate? Nothing. Give it sort of dark features, so dark paintwork, dark frame, dark wheels, everything dark, and then I wanted the chrome to sort of pop on the bike. But I wanted it to look like it handles, and I wanted it to look like a bike everyone would like, not just certain people. So yeah, I kept with dark colours. So it looks mean. Nothing. The wheels have been built up and the fresh tyres and bearings have been fitted. Lovely. From getting the frame back, it's taken what? Well, it's taken weeks because we wait for stuff, but in all working hours, how long has that taken to build? Yeah, it hasn't taken that long <laughs> to get to this stage. I've got wiring to do, finish. Got the engine to finish rebuilding. I cannot wait to ride it. I'm also scared about what riding it because I'm going to want to keep it even more, which I cannot do. <laughs> I cannot afford to keep it, so it's going up for sale. The fuel tank, the oil tank that Hot Rod Tom made, and the fenders are back from paint. It's time for Moose and the old man to start the wiring loom and ignition switch. Lee the engine carrier helps bleed up the brakes. Everything starts coming together. This is my favorite bit. She's alive! Uh, timing issue. 
We'd lost the spark for a bit, but we found it. Yeah. Maybe she's not alive. Uh, we've just got a little bit of a timing issue now. So what do you reckon, Tom? Nothing. Well, You're a bit speechless. <laughs> yeah. It's done. So it's done apart from two things, right? Exhaust. Exhaust, they're oh, just... It's got a fit of speedo to it. That's in the post. So a speedo and a proper exhaust system, not this. The, these pipes we just use as a mock-up so we could run the engine while we're waiting for the actual pipes to show up. built the hardtail Harley-Davidson over a period of three months in between other projects. I'm very proud of my little brother and what he has achieved. Hopefully the next Harley he builds he can actually keep it. Now the new exhaust and the speedo is fitted, there's only one more thing left to do before we send this bike to auction. So we are ready for test riding, but it is so wet and it hasn't stopped raining for a whole week. Luckily, the day before we were taking the bike to auction along with two other bikes, the sun came out and it was game on. Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> right, and it starts just going down your ass crack, <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah. I made a poopy. Yeah. It's alright, it's not in your jeans, it's just your coat. That's what my baby's nappy looks like. <laughs> <laughs> There's a box. What's it ride like? Sweet. Is it? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs>